Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is the dessert series. Our peaches are in season. We're gonna make a great dessert. You guys stay tuned. All right guys, so listen, I don't even have a title for this video. I have no idea what I'm making. I just know that we've made it in the past and it's been absolutely phenomenal. It reminds me a lot of Bananas Foster, but we're substituting some peaches, did a little twist here and there. I'm telling you guys, this thing is phenomenal. All right, bought this little pound cake. It's like a sour cream pudding uh, pound cake. You guys can determine whatever cake you like. It just looked like it was calling my name, so that's what we're gonna use today. I don't know if I've ever said this out loud. It's pretty embarrassing. I don't know if anybody else there can comment below. If you're a huge peach fan like I am, amen to you, brother and sister, because I am a peach fanatic. I love peach flavor. I love peach soda. I love peach beer. I love peaches. And when they are in season, ah! All right, so this is the idea. A little brown sugar, a little cinnamon toast on our um, pound cake. Finish it off with some uh, whiskey. Some bourbon, I should say. And I think it's gonna be a fantastic dessert. Woo! That's a big member, Jim. Oh, I'll knock you out. All right, first things first. I've already taken the peaches, I've cut them in half. It doesn't really matter how you do this. These things are extremely soft, so they're not gonna get a lot of cook time. And I'm actually gonna cut them a slight bit larger than normal, just because they are so soft. I do not want them to disintegrate while they're on the flat top, all right? So step number one, ah, I love peaches. Cut your peaches. Step number two, let's get our pound cake cut. Now we've argued back and forth how we're gonna do this to make the pieces uniform. So what I'm gonna do is take the best part, which is the top, cut it right in half. Save this for a little. Midnight snack. Yep, and then go right down here. Nice big slice. You guys see that? Look at that. All right. With that. That is a, that's a big piece. Are we, we each get a piece? No, this is cheat day. I've been waiting for this for a while. Butter on both sides. Very, very, very good amount, okay? This butter is gonna act like a binder for your cinnamon sugar. So basically you're creating cinnamon toast on the flat top, okay? With the pound cake. Yep, and right here, cinnamon sugar. It's just your standard mix, anything you'd make for the oven for your toast in the morning. Get out of here. And that's gonna caramelize on the flat top, okay? So we're just gonna repeat the steps on the other side as well. Okay, now that we got the peaches cut and our cake the way we want it, our flat top's already preheated, everything's on low. I'm gonna cut, go ahead and cut this side off because we're not, we're not gonna be using much of the flat top and everything's gonna be able to cook at once. So this right here just goes down just like this. Now remember, obviously you guys understand, you're not worried about cooking the bread. So all you're worried about is toasting the bread. The cake. Yeah, cake, bread, just goodness. All right, next we're just gonna add our peaches. Give yourself enough space. And this will not take long. We're almost gonna film this live and in action, all right? Real time. Real time. Nice chunk of butter. How much butter would you say? That is two tablespoons. A large tablespoon. Remember, since these peaches are so soft, you don't want to cook them too long, okay? You smell that already with that cinnamon sugar? Oh, yeah. All right, come back in here with some brown sugar. Obviously, you guys can add as much, as little as you like. I'm not going to add cinnamon at this time just because our toast has cinnamon on it. So that was probably what, five tablespoons, give or take? I wouldn't say five. No. I might say five tablespoons of bourbon.
Oh yeah. You smell that? All right. When your liquid becomes a syrup, that's when you want to take it off, okay? Like I said, I'm not going to overcook the peaches. They got just a little bit more time to them. Right there, that's perfect. See how that sauce is sticking to the spatula? Let me come over here, see if we can get a better. I'm right-handed, so it's hard for me to do that. See how that sauce is sticking to the spatula? That's what you want, okay? Because once your sauce cools down, it's gonna get thicker and thicker. So you wanna pull it off the flat top when it's still loose. When it looks like it's not ready, that's when you wanna pull it. All right, here we go. I tell you guys all the time to clean as you go, and this is a perfect example. Go and get all that sugar off your flat top so it's not sitting there. I know there's some God giant almighty. flies. That bad boy almost went up the nose. Giant flies out here today. All right. Oh yeah, see that? Look at that. Mm. All that caramelization. And look, you can hear it too. I mean, that is crunchy as can be. All that does is help your, I call it bread. What would you call it? Cake. Cake. All it does is change the texture. We went from soft, and so now we got soft and crunchy, especially with the peaches being soft. All right, now that our peaches have cooled, our bread's ready. I don't know if you guys can hear this. Cake, our cake. Cake, bread, whatever. And uh, the good thing is, is once it once your sugars calm down and they come up to temperature, they, or I guess technically your sugars cool down, you're gonna get that crunch effect. So if you take it off the flat top right away and it's not crunchy, just give it time to, to cool down and those sugars will calm down and that's how you get your crunchy effect is that a sugars that sugar that's a what cotton candy that's literally cotton candy that's how that's how it happens all right here we go this is what i live for for peach season right here take these beautiful peaches Now, who says you can't do this on a camping trip? Have your friends over. I know what you're thinking. You're looking at that syrup, thinking, what are you about to do with that syrup? I got you. I don't even know if I want to say something. Like I'm like dead set on this bite right here. <sighs> this is incredible. All right. Okay, give me a bite. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, make some desserts on the flat top grill. Peace.